In my opinion, there is no greater feeling than getting a crispy headshot on an opposing guardian. Hearing that splat and feeling like a god amongst men, then soon after dying because you just can't seem to get a good handle on your reticle. I get it, man. One second you're about to montage and the next you're either shoulder charged or sniping like Helen Keller. In this video, I'm going to go over Kovacs' beginner routine specific for Destiny 2 sniping. This routine will be for mouse and keyboard, but I'll come out with one for controller soon. So before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys for a really big favor. Please drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out with the algorithm and allows me to possibly end up in the recommended section of YouTube. Therefore, being able to reach and help more Guardians. Also, if you guys want to see more guides for Destiny 2 sniping, ranging from intermediate to advanced, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. Regardless though, your viewership is enough for me, and I am super appreciative of your time and truly hope you guys benefit from this video in some way, shape, or form. In my last video, the Kovacs Aim Training Starter Guide, I talked about click timing and tracking. You would think sniping skill is largely enhanced by grinding out just click timing drills, but that's wrong. Well, about half wrong. You see, being great at click timing will get you your first headshot, however, it will leave you dead in the water on your second kill attempt. Well, why is this? Why is it so hard to just get two snipes in a row or track your target that's strafing? Yes, you can blame flinch from the opposing team or screen shake from a grenade that is in close proximity. But what if I told you this can be fixed by doing tracking drills? Tracking, in my opinion, is how fast and smooth you can keep your reticle on your opponent or transfer it to your next kill. Being a good sniper is not only about how fast you can center your target and micro address when zoomed, but also how fast you can smoothly beeline your reticle to the next target. This is the major role that tracking plays. When you combine it with click timing, you will be able to hit consecutive headshots quickly and efficiently. This is known as flicking. It is the fast combination of click timing and tracking skill executed unconsciously. I say unconsciously because you are moving so fast that your conscious is not aware and you are solely relying on muscle memory. So before I go over these routines, I want you guys to be aware of a few foundations that will either detriment or excel your training progression. This is going to sound odd, but try to consciously be aware of your breathing pattern and not hold your breath while training. Holding your breath for a prolonged period of time in intense moments can cause anxiety and hesitation during a match. Your goal is to stay calm during the entirety of the routine. This will train you not to freak out in high stakes situations, thus allowing you to make smart, accurate decisions when it comes to aim and positioning. Which brings me to my next point. You never want to grip your mouse tightly at any point of the routines or just in FPS gaming in general. Doing this will cause rigid, inaccurate movements rather than smooth and accurate ones. Gripping tightly will not only restrain the mouse, it will restrain your gameplay as well, making you slower and less fluid. On another note, if you have low sensitivity like me, you have a chance of getting aim fatigue. This is when your aim starts to be sluggish and non-reactive, thus causing you to miss more shots. I want to be clear and say that these routines should be performed in a calm manner and not in a sweat state. You're building muscle memory, not trying to win a match or get a top score. The next pillar of our foundation is where your focus should be placed. This is dependent on the player. If your opponent does not have great movement, 
and is essentially standing still, putting focus priority on the reticles recommended to snag an easy headshot. This action does not take much training to do consistently, because you are merely placing the target on the head of a still guardian. However, if your opponent is moving fast, strafing and sliding, being able to accurately place the reticle on their head becomes a challenge. To hit these targets, you have to put your focus priority on the target itself and letting the reticle follow, thus allowing you to shoot where your eyes are aiming at rather than trying to get the reticle exactly on the head. This type of aiming relies a lot on muscle memory, tracking, and click timing. I strongly recommend that you apply this technique to all your drills so that your eyes and your reticle will move together rather than separately. Now we got that out of the way, let's move on to the routines. In this routine, you'll have one warm-up, two click timing exercises, and two tracking exercises. Each day you will do one warm-up and three exercises. The only thing you'll be swapping out will be the tracking. So for example, one day you will do a warm-up, both click timing exercises, and thin aiming invincible. The next day you'll have the exact same setup, except rather than thin aiming, you'll have LG Pin Practice 360. The warm-up should last five minutes and each exercise should be done for 10 minutes each, totaling 35 minutes per session. If you're looking to do extra credit, add five more minutes to two preferred exercises. I usually add these to the ones I am weakest at. This routine should be done for 15 to 20 days before moving on to the advanced training. I want to also let you know that this routine is what worked best for me. If you have any other exercises that you enjoy more, please feel free to exchange it with any one of these exercises that you deem fit. Remember, there are several roads in a journey. Don't limit yourself to just one. One Wall 9000 Targets is a classic. This exercise is pure click timing and tracking. It helps you build a fast and accurate rhythm that enhances the use of single shot or burst type weapons such as snipers, hand cannons, scout rifles, or pulse rifles. When doing this exercise, try your best not to reposition your mouse for the entirety of the five minutes. This trains you to be subconsciously aware of the mouse pad space and how it can be used efficiently. Don't do this absurdly fast, find a good consistent rhythm that helps you find a balance between speed, smoothness, and accuracy. One wall, six targets small is the first click timing exercise. This is meant to train your precision and target acquisition when it comes to sniping or hitting headshots from medium to far distances. This will also help decrease the chances of you firing before or after the reticle hits the target. However, the key to this exercise is not to only hit the target, but to also efficiently get to the next target. Your path should be a straight line to the next target without any distraction. This should be done slowly for the first three to four days before speeding up. Remember, you're not training to show off skill. You're training to build a solid foundation of muscle memory and eye-hand coordination. So when the time comes, you can perform fast, accurate movements without having to think about it. This will allow you to put more of your attention towards movement and positioning rather than having to think about aim. Thin Aiming Invincible to be honest, this tracking exercise is one of my least favorites, being that it gets very boring very fast, and it is quite hard to adjust to. But in my opinion, this helped me out tremendously when it came to tracking and aim smoothing, which arguably is the most important aspect of sniping. Here are some examples of why this can be applied. When you're against a better than average player, 9 out of 10 times they will strafe while engaging or slide through a corner. This even comes into play when you're trying to take down a super. This exercise needs to be done as smooth as possible regardless if you're missing. The more you do this exercise, the better you will be at sticking to targets on a horizontal axis with absurd speed. This exercise needs to be done as smooth as possible regardless if you're missing. The more you do this, the better you'll be able to stick to targets on a horizontal axis. I'll even go on to recommend spending an extra 5 minutes on top of the 10 in this exercise because it is just that beneficial. Tile Frenzy Strafing 03 is a click timing dominated exercise with a touch of tracking being that the tiles are moving. Unlike Tile Frenzy Strafing 02 and 1, these tiles are farther away so that you can work on aiming from a distance. This can be applied to bows, snipers, linear fusion rifles, and scout rifles, helping train your micro adjustments from one target to the next. Apply the same technique used in one wall six targets small and make sure the transition to each target is as smooth and straight as possible. I hate to say it again, but I really want to drive the point home. Smoother aim will always be faster than a sporadic one. Finally, we have the LG Pin Practice 360. This exercise works on your ability to track and stick to vertical targets, then switch to the next one efficiently. Very often we find guardians jumping up in the air, which leaves us a one to two second window to fire. 
This will train your ability to snag those headshots when the opportunity arises. Just like all the other exercises, start smooth before attempting to go fast. Just like in my last video, I want to say that this is not the end all be all that will make you a god in the crucible. You can have the best aim ever, but someone with great map knowledge, situational awareness, and better movement will still mind bend you over in a match. So playing the actual game is also needed to improve, just don't rely solely on Kovacs. That's about all I have for you guys today. I truly hope that this helps at least a few Guardians looking to improve their sniping skill or just aim in general. If you want to see more videos like this where I go in depth into Kovacs training specifically for click timing or tracking on D2, please turn on your notification button and subscribe. Thank you again so much for watching. 